Hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well. It's time for yet another edition of Megalon Seven's Game Finds and Pickups. It's been pretty good recently. Uh did some trades, which is something I don't do very often, mostly because I don't find very many people willing to do trades to have anything that aren't like, you know, I have ten copies of Mario Duck Hunt. Or they don't you know, they're not trying to like scam you. That's always fun. But anyway, uh, let's just kind of dive right in. Uh, first, we have something I haven't shown before, at least not that I remember. Uh, Game Boy games. Uh, the first we have... Let's see if I can frame this well. There we go. Uh, Altered Space, which I played a little bit, and it's it's alright. Nothing special. Uh, I bought this next one because I saw some kind of story about it that made it seem kind of rare. Or I don't know what the full situation behind it was, but it's not really that rare. But it's at least not a terrible game. Uh, Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. Solid football and baseball game, but nothing special about it. I'm willing to bet once I do my stats on the screen and post that I'm going to have taken a loss buying this game. But oh well, it happens. And then the best of the Game Boy games I picked up. Got Double Dragon. Not as good as the NES version or, you know, the arcade version, but hey, pretty solid for a version on the go. So there were those. Uh, I did pick up a couple PC games. You've been seeing I've been picking those up every now and then. Uh, most of the time it has to be something kind of special. Uh, here we have XCOM Collector's Edition. Both the discs are in there. And I like this case, how it has a little flap that keeps it attached. I like the case. And another game I picked up just because I know what it is. I know it's an advertising game, but I like the idea of it even though my computer won't run it because I can't get it compatibility mode to work. Text Quest. I know it's just like a Doom or Wolfenstein like reskin, but I find it pretty funny. Uh, on Veterans Day, I went to Value Village and they had were having 50% off everything in the store. So by the time I got there, you know, around like 3 or 4 once I got out of class, most of the good stuff was gone. I did manage to pick up a couple things that got left behind. Mostly, you know, just scraps. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. winning run. Like I said, the stuff is nothing special. But I didn't pay much for it, so I figured why not. Uh, I got, it's kind of dirty, but I'm going to clean it up, a silver GameCube controller. And I almost didn't get this, but I kind of saw it just sitting on the top of a pile. A player's guide for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I like getting guides, and, you know, Pokemon's always fun. So I'm not, um, I'm not going to go to the trade stuff yet. Oh, okay, so I'm good with this. Uh, actually, today, the day I'm shooting this video, who knows when I'll actually upload it, ran to one of my local game stores, uh, just because I hadn't been there in a couple weeks, asked them about, uh, they, somebody had traded an Atari 5200 that they were still working on pricing out, and they told me they'd let me know when they have a price for it. Uh, but I got two things there. First is a boxed Operation Wolf. It didn't have the manual, but it was, you know... It really didn't cost that much. I figured, why not go ahead and get it? And that's something I saw and immediately knew I was getting because it wasn't like 30 40 bucks. Even though the case could be better and the manual's not there, I really wanted it. Karuga. First time actually seeing this game out at thrift store, game store, yard sale. I've probably seen a GameStop before at some point in my life, but I do not run across this game. And they didn't want, like, an exorbitant amount for it. So I was more than happy to get it because I really like uh, shmups. So happy to have this game. Um, got a couple more things. I actually, for the first time in a good while, had... Well, this video's going to be lacking one slight thing, but I don't feel like reshooting. I had a good SNES haul from the Value Village in my area. Bunch of Super Nintendo games. I'll start with the one I can't show you because it's down on my system. I forgot to bring it up for the video. 
I got Super Castlevania 4, which is a game I've been looking at for a while, or looking for for a while. Uh, just, it had always been just slightly above what I'd be willing to pay for it. Like, people would want like 30, 35 bucks, and I really didn't want to pay more than like 20, 25 ish. Um, but this was, I got it for like 4 bucks, and the cart looks great. But anyway, here's the other stuff I picked up in no like particular order. Uh, Batman Returns, pretty solid beat em up. A classic Super Mario World. Another classic Super Mario All Stars. Something I was excited to get. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2. I had just normal like Street Fighter 2 for Super Nintendo, but now I have Super Street Fighter 2. I had this for NES, and I need to clean this card up more. Uh, Krusty Super Fun House. It used to be a Blockbuster rental. I took the sticker off the top, and I got a couple of stickers off the back. As you can see, it's really still kind of dirty, or maybe you can't see it. I don't know. But it's still pretty dirty, so I need to clean that up. Uh, we also got uh, Warlock, and I played this for like five minutes, and just, nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, another copy of Super Mario World. Uh, King of the Monsters, which is just okay. Nothing really kind of special about it from the little bit I played. Also, used to be Blockbuster Rental. Some of the stickers are still there. I'm not going to be able to get that off because it's taking the back label with it. So that's just going to... Oh, yeah. That's going to be permanently stuck there. In the last Super Nintendo game I picked up in that haul, uh, Kirby's Dream Course. And that was all that. Okay, so last thing before I get to the trade, and I'll even tell you what I traded the dude for all this, and you'll probably be like, oh, you got ripped off. Well, value-wise, we both made out about the same. We both left happy, so that's what matters. Uh, on my way up to meet the dude, I stopped by a couple good balls. It was all pretty dead, except for I found a uh, Guitar Hero on Tour Decades. Uh, all the pieces are in here. It's only 3 bucks in its box. I figured, why not? And it was 20% off, so I actually paid like 280 for it. Nothing special, but you know it's only two eighty, so why not? Okay, so to the trade, what did I get? What did I give him? When you can start thinking about it, well, for the first thing I got, which I gave him a copy of Golden Axe, just the cart for uh, Super Thunderblade. Cart's a little beat up, but when it comes to uh, Genesis games, if they're not like in their boxes, I want them either because they're rare and I don't see them very often, or because it's a game I actually want to play. Because I know if I look hard enough, I'll find a Genesis game in its box. Because those are actually boxes that people tend to keep because they were, you know, nice hard plastic. Unless they were boxes like this one where they were the cardboard. Then those are harder to find. But anyway, I traded a gold copy of Golden Axe for that. Now the rest of this stuff, uh, after we worked out some negotiations... I traded him an N64 with it, which is expansion pack, which range is about 25 bucks or so. And the sealed Final Fantasy VIII I showed in a couple videos ago, which ranges for about 35 bucks or so. For those of you who are going to try and, you know, see if I got ripped off or made out in this deal. We both walked out with about $60, $70 worth of stuff. He, he got it in two items. I got it in multiple. But anyway, let's begin with probably the cheapest out of all of them. I just wanted because it was boxed. Uh, Zoop. It's in there. You know, it, it, it's Zoop. Whatever. Not super special, but nice to have it in the box. Uh, Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Complete. A lot of these games are nothing like super special, but I kind of wanted them. And then I also got Bubsy, complete in box. And then the real reason why I went through this trade is I got Sega CD games. I don't see these very often, so I'm always happy to go ahead and grab some when I can. Now these aren't like, you know, there's no snatcher in here. But they do all, they're all complete, all the cases are in good condition, none of them are broken, and they all have the little, like, styrofoam piece inside. So that's nice. Uh, first one, ESPN Baseball tonight, you know, woohoo, special, great, grand fun. Uh, then we got 
Rise of the Dragon. Bram Stoker's Dracula. A true video game. Uh, Ground Zero Texas. And Lat. Lat. Last but not least, Jurassic Park. I actually had the manual for this that I got in a lot, a huge lot of games I bought a while ago. But I couldn't find the case or the disc with the lot, so I guess it was just a random manual. Uh, anyway, that's everything I got. Uh, since I always tend to show my favorite find. Uh, if I had Castlevania 4 up here with me, it'd be that. But otherwise, it's going to be a Karuga and these two games. Those are my favorite finds from this go. Yeah, it's a little off center in the shop, but whatever. So that's everything I've picked up recently. It's it's been better than the last couple of videos I made, where you know it's like, oh, I found some sealed PC games. Oh, that's kind of cool. But you know, there's PC games, or you know, they'll be like the sealed Final Fantasy VIII, but everything else I showed was a bunch of crap. It just kind of goes to show you that when you do, when you have hob do, ah, I can't speak right now. When you have hobbies like game collecting or any any type of collecting, really, comics, games, figures, whatever, whatever you collect. Whenever you come in, come into things in your hobby, you'll have days where you'll find all kinds of stuff you've been looking for, all kinds of rare stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. You know, times where you'll find, you know, just things that you know they're they're nice to have, but they're nothing really special. You know, no need to go bragging about to everybody, which you know. I guess somebody's going to call me out on these videos are kind of me bragging, but that's that's not really my point. I'm not trying to, you know, like rub it in your face like, oh, I found this game for like $4. But anyway, it's kind of goes to show with persistence, you, you will eventually find what you're looking for. Like Castlevania 4, I was looking for that game for probably about a year, year and a half to find a copy that wasn't, you know, like I said, $30, $40, and I finally did it. So pretty much... Pretty much anything you're looking for. If you if you're patient and you, you're diligent and you constantly check, you know, any resources you have for, for finding things, it'll eventually show up. All right, that's it for me this time, guys. Uh, as always, please feel free to you know comment below. Uh, you know, like this video if you want to, and, and if you really you know really love me, subscribe. School's getting kind of crazy right now, so. All of my ideas for like other things I could do for the channel have really fallen to the wayside right now. But hopefully sometime soon I'll I'll be able to start doing some more things. There's actually one, I'll, I guess I'll throw out a teaser. There's a chance I might have a new style of video coming out soon and it will be starting around the end of the month. I can't, I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to make any promises just in case it falls through. And I also don't know when I'd be able to finish it and get it out to you guys. But it's something I really hope you all like. Well, that's it for uh, that's it for me this time. Good luck in your hunt. Good luck in life. And have a good day, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this.